What are you guys doing here? We're occupying your studio, you fascist swine. Yeah! yeah. Oh, come on. Hello and welcome to Five Things You Need to Know This Week, the show that gives you semi-relevant information about the five things that everyone's talking about. So, let's get started. Five! The Occupy Wall Street protest appears to be spreading, with activists around the country organizing their own demonstration. So here's a rundown of the styles that may be coming to a demonstration near you. Now, Occupy Wall Street has been criticized for not having the type of clear messaging that protests had back in the 60s. So, Jihan here is trying to put an end to that with her sign. Over the weekend, police arrested hundreds of protesters as they tried to cross the Brooklyn Bridge. And John here is wearing a homemade snake Pliskin costume, a man who knows how to cross a New York bridge. Now the protest has gained some celebrity support. Actor Mark Ruffalo joined demonstrators recently holding this sign. And Brandon here offers his own take. And finally, here's Al, wearing a classic trench coat look. But Al, you know, I'm not sure I understand your sign. Oh my god. The Nobel Prizes for Science, Literature, and Peace will be announced this week. And if you're like me, you're going to be looking for some sweet, sweet action on that literary award. So here are the odds. The Syrian poet Adonis is the favorite at 4 to 1. The Swedish poet Tomas Tranströmer is next at 11 to 2. And American novelist Philip Roth is a long shot at 25 to 1. You got till Wednesday to pay up, asswipe! What was it? Thinking not picking Mario Vargas Llosa last year. Three. What's up, Internet? Mac Daddy here. I have an exclusive rumor about Apple's new iPhone 6. The company is holding an event this week to debut a new phone that is the next step to the iPhone 6. The new phone will reportedly be faster, thinner, and more profitable than the last phone, which leads one to believe through a bit of careful deduction that the iPhone 6 will indeed be faster, thinner, and more profitable than the last phone. All right, Mac Daddy, out. Two. This week is Advertising Week, and here to fill us in on some of the events is Kieran Adetham, editor of Agency Spy. Well, as the New York Times recently described it, Advertising Week is Fashion Week for smart people. Among this week's events getting our attention are the Big Ad Gig, a competition for freelancers to land 30-day gigs at top agencies as well as Facebook this year. And there's even the annual Battle of the Ad Bands. Plus, Agency Spy is throwing its own party on Wednesday. Oh wait, I think I'm getting a call. Hello? Why'd you buy my husband a Falcon? Thanks for the Falcon. What? I didn't buy anyone a Falcon. Sure you did. Oh, that was a long weekend. Hi, and welcome to Five Fashion Tips for a Hip Media Wardrobe. I'm your host, Stacey London, from TLC's What Not to Wear. This season, you're going to see lots of rich hues in purples and teals and saffrons. Now, that's great for women. Now, how do you translate that for men? Remember, only in little drips and drabs. One color in your plaid shirt, one color in your stripe, or go for a beautiful pocket square or a printed tie. Texture. Nobody ever knows what I mean by texture. Texture is not a print. Texture is actually the look of a fabric that has, well, texture. Pattern. Okay, use pattern to your advantage. Now, a lot of women say they won't wear prints or patterns because they're afraid it's going to make them look bigger. That is a load of hooey. Always pay attention to the cut of something first and then the pattern. A great big pattern for the season that is just everywhere polka dots. Kind of retro, especially with a little tie bow blouse or with a pencil skirt. That could be another great look. Not that you need to do a polka dot pencil skirt, but animal print pencil skirts. Now there's something meow. Shine. 
Now, what does that mean? Well, it can mean embellishment or it can mean the shine in a fabric. Now, if you want to wear a silk blouse, ladies, if it's got a little bit of shine to it, fantastic. That's a great way to do sheen for day. And it's also interesting when you pair it with flatter fabrics. But make sure the shirts aren't see-through. Now, gentlemen, you can do shine as well, whether that's in your cuff link or in the material that you use for a tie or a pocket square. At the end of the day, your style is all about your personality. So make sure that whatever you wear fits and then says to the world whatever it is you want to say about yourself.